Gary there, Dr. Gary here. Um, we are dental, uh, dental practice guide is our email was our, uh, that is our, um, contact information. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. We are dental practice brokers nationwide now. And, uh, today's topic is going to be two tragic disabilities in the last 10 days. We'd like to share that with you and what happened and what circumstances they were, and hopefully you can avoid it. Um, before we do that, uh, we'd like to say that we are now operation, operational from 7.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night, East Coast time, every day except Christmas. So whether you're a buyer or seller, please call us. We can chat. Let's talk to you about it. Also, once you become a buyer with us, we'll get you the list every week of all the new practices I think we have nine of them uh, in the last uh, 30 days, nine new ones. So give us a call on that. Um, all the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It is not legal or business advice. Okay. We're doing this 363 days a year. We take off Christmas and Easter. So you can always reach us from 730 until 9, 730 in the morning until 930 at night. We always pick up the phone. We always respond. We respond to all the emails. So just ring us up and we'll, we'll get it going for you. Okay. Um, that's important. So what happened in the last 10, 12 days? Um, two tragic disabilities. I mean, these things happen. I think it's important to share these things with you, not as a scare tactic, but as like, this is reality. You know, everybody does not want to deal with this. When I mention this to doctors that it could happen, they all say, my father lived till the 90, my mother lived till 95. They rationalize it that way. But it's very sad when it happens, it makes it hard for us because we had to run around and sell the practices. So what do we have? The first one is major heart problems. Ran into heart complications, only a 68 year old, major heart complications. I remember talking to him like two years ago. Don't worry about it. I'm not ready to retire. We'll do it eventually. So now we have to run around. He has a slight paralysis. He has to sell the practice. These things happen overnight. It just happens. I know you don't think it's going to happen to you, but I'm here and I got to deal with this and I want to help him out the best I can. Now that he's debilitated, he probably can't work after the sale. So the price is going down, down, down. It has to, because the goodwill is going to be affected. Hopefully, the whole staff will stay on and we could try to get as high as we can. But this is what happened. You know, we got some heart problems going on. The second one is a combination, multiple myeloma, some lymphoma disease, you know, in his lymph system, a lymphatic uh, cancer. So there's two different things he has, and he might have leukemia too, but he has all these things going on with him. He thought, no problem. He's moving to Florida or taking his vacations to Florida. Everything is great. The staff is motivated. He's motivated. And now he gets his diagnosis. He went from day to night. And he doesn't know what the future holds. He's too old for his disability. I think he's over the age of 65. But it's like... What do you want? What do you want me to do now? I'm, I'm going to try to rush around and get his practice sold for him. Disability is going to be, is going to be, you know, it's going to take over. I think he has some payments because he had the policy until 70, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. But it's not enough to carry everything. He has to sell the practice. Hopefully, the staff will stay on. Hopefully, we can keep the ship going. But we just got thrown into this chaos. He says, you got to sell my practice. Because he has cancer and obviously has bigger things on his mind right now. He thought he was just going to keep working. No problem. He has everything figured out. But it's not working. So we're going to have to rush around and sell it. I just, the countless number of sellers I come across, they say, I've had a good 30 years. I'm going to go another 30, maybe five years. Retire when I'm 35. Well, that's great if everything holds out. But if something happens, the value of practice will just plummet. So it's a reality you've got to face. Get out early, sell the practice now, work for somebody. You may not make as much money, but you can take your money, put it into some investment, you know? So these are things to think about, but the disability will hit you. It will hit you hard and it'll hit you unexpected. I have to deal with it virtually every single month. And I just wanted to share with you what happened this time. So it will affect the cost of your practice. It will affect everything. 
and we hope that doesn't happen to you. Get out, try to get out early. Uh, I'm busy enough, but try to get out early and uh, work as an employee if you love dentistry that much, okay? All right, team, that's it for today. Remember, if you're a large group selling to a DSO, we can help you. We work with, I think, six of them now. They pay our commission. Off and on, we'll get your legal fees reimbursed based on criteria at closing. So we know the best DSOs to work with. We are intimately involved in day-to-day -day negotiations. We see what goes on and what, you know, what DSOs step up to the plate, which ones don't. We know. But it's industry inside information that you won't get. You're only going to get it when you're dealing directly with them at a negotiating table. You see their true character comes out. But there's a lot of great DSOs I have the highest respect for out there. All right, let's chat. Great day. Bye now.